G'day students, I'm Dr. Price of Classroom Professor. This week's topic is metric measures of length. So we're going to be looking at units of measure in the metric system. Now I have to say, if you are a student in the United States, you will be learning, I believe, about meters and centimeters and kilometers and so on. But you will also know about feet and inches and yards and miles and those units. I don't want you to be confused. I'm sure your teachers have talked to you about this. Um, your country is using two different sets of units a little bit, so I don't want to get bogged down with that. Meters and centimeters and kilometers and so on is a system of measurement that is used in many countries of the world. And all the numbers that are used to change one unit to another are based on 10. So we use 10 or 100 or 1,000 sometimes 10,000, sometimes a million, but they're all nice, easy, round numbers. On the worksheets that go with this video, there are questions converting centimetres to metres, kilometres to metres, and centimetres to millimetres. So I'm going to talk about all three of those. I'll do it fairly quickly. You may want to watch the video again to see um, the details if I go a bit too quickly for you. So let's look at a centimetres to metres question. Supposing we had 235 centimetres and I said to you, how many metres is that? The first thing you need to know is that the prefix centi means one hundredth. So one hundred centimetres equals a metre. I'm sure you've heard that before. So in this question, I would say to you, how many hundreds are there? Because this is about hundreds of centimetres. Which of these numbers is in the hundreds place? Of course, it's the two. So the 200 centimetres must become two metres. Two metres. Two whole metres is 200. We'll need a decimal point. Where will the three and the five go? If the two is now in the ones place, the three and the five must be after the decimal point and it's 2.35 or 2 and 35 hundredths of a metre. The method that we use, there's two ways I'll, I'll suggest that you think about this. One is find the hundredths and the other one is move all the digits to places. Two places because a hundred has two zeros, it's two lots of, of um, dividing by ten move everything two places that way. There's a thing that teachers sometimes have called a place value slide where you write the, the numbers, the digits on and you can move it and leave the decimal point where it is. Um, that may help. Let's look at one going the other way. So supposing we had 4.17 metres. This is a little bit harder. How would we change that to centimetres? Well, here we have some metres. How many centimetres in one metre? Of course, it's 100. So in four metres, there would be 400. So this time the numbers are getting bigger. This time our digits are actually going this way, two places. And this four will end up in the hundreds place. 400 and the one and the seven go after it. So that's the tens and the ones, 417. Let me talk very quickly about changing places because I feel I may possibly have just lost some people. So here we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Here's a decimal point. Let me quickly show you what I mean by saying move the decimal, uh, sorry, don't move the decimal point, move the digits. Supposing we had the number 12.5 and we were multiplying that by 100. We would move everything this way two places to multiply by 100. So if the 5 is in the tenths place, or rather we'll start with the 1. The 1's in the tens place, where will it go to? Two places will take it to the thousands place. The 2 will come to the hundreds place. The 5 will be in the tens place. And then we need a 0 to hold the 1's place. All right. If we were dividing by 100, we would go that way this one would end up in the tenths place and so on. I don't have time to do that anymore. So we'll keep moving on. Kilometres and metres. This time we have the prefix kilo and kilo means one thousand. 
So on the metric system we have other units starting with kilo like kilo litres, which is a thousand litres. So kilometres to metres. Supposing we had, let's do a nice easy one, three kilometres equals how many metres? This time there are a thousand so we're going to multiply this by one thousand and of course that makes a nice easy answer of three thousand metres. If this was 3.2 kilometres, it would still be 3,000, would it? Because this is still 3 kilometres, that's 3,000. Where does the 2 go? The 2 must be in the hundreds place, so it's 3,200 metres. In the opposite direction, supposing we had 5,700, let's make it a little bit harder, 750 metres and we want to change that to kilometres. This time I'll ask you the question, where are the thousands? A thousand metres is a kilometre, so how many thousands are here? Here's the thousands place, five. So this will be five kilometres, won't it? Then we need a decimal point, because that's the last of the kilometres, followed by the seven and the five. You could put the zero, or you can leave the zero off, because it's the other side of the decimal point. Last sort. We'll do this quickly, centimetres to millimetres. Now, centimetres are hundredths of a metre. Millimetres are thousandths of a metre. And so the difference here, if we're converting centimetres to millimetres, we're going to multiply by 10. A millimetre, sorry, a centimetre is about the width of your finger, or maybe a little bit bigger than your finger depending on how big your fingers are, but that's about the size. A millimetre is a tenth of that. So every centimetre equals 10 millimetres. So we're multiplying by 10. Four centimetres will be how many millimetres? Of course that will be 40 because that's 4 times 10. Let's do one going the other way and we'll do a, a harder one. Let's take 135 millimetres is how many centimetres. This time we're dividing by 10. Where are the tens? In this number which is the tens place, right there. So that 3 will be 3 centimetres. The 10 must come in front of it, so we've got 13 centimetres and that of course is 0.5. That's it, we've run out of time for this one. I hope this has been helpful to you and I'll talk to you next time.